Marvel Legends fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another Marvel Legends figure review. You've got Groot from the Love and Thunder Builder figure wave for Korg. And uh, yeah, this, this is a nice, nice looking Groot. I have had the Teenage Groot before, the one that came in the three pack with Thor and Rocket a few years ago. Um, yeah, don't have that set anymore. I did sell that one off, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's much difference in that one to this one, but um, I don't re recall that Groot's face looking, you know, quite as sort of stern. Um, it's been a long time, it's been a while, so I'm not sure he's still got his little green little saplings in his head, which is kind of cute, really. Um, but yeah, definitely in his appearance in Love and Thunder, he's certainly sort of just aged a little bit more. I imagine we will see Adult Groot again at some point. Um, so yeah, it's funny to think that that was only the first first Guardians film that we saw a fully grown Groot. Um, but yeah, this time he does come with this blaster gun, <laughs> I guess. Um, I don't know whether we've had this before. Again, not a Marvel Legends connoisseur at all. But uh, it's cool. It's a nice looking gun. I wish there was a way to sort of sling it on his back somehow. So you could just sort of peg it in there. Just so you could, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the thing I do like about this figure is he does come with a trigger finger. Hands that you can swap out. And he does come with these extendable tree, tree parts. Which is also cool. And they've actually uh, got little joints on them as well, so you can sort of have him lifting up. But it's cool, they're nicely sculpted pieces and they, they look great on the figure too. I will just do one of them just to show you because it is quite an easy little swap out. So there you have him. So yeah, pretty simple re-release for Hasbro to do. Uh, given that he has, uh, you know, such a small appearance in the film. But it's a it's a nicely done figure, I like it. You know, I'm very much half tempted to sort of go over it with a wash. Um, just to sort of get into the nooks and crannies and crevices and give him a little bit more depth uh, to that wood look. But... It's okay. It's you know, it's just a it's just a toy that I'm gonna probably have on a shelf at some point. Um, but yeah, it's nice, nice articulation on it. I would like to get the uh, adult root again at some point. That would be cool. Did have the full Guardians at one point, so um, yeah, I don't know whether I'll ever endeavour to complete that set again. But um, yeah, this one's a nice addition to have. You know, I'm a big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy as well. And you get two of them in this wave. So the next figure I will be reviewing is uh, Star-Lord, Peter Quill. I picked that one up today. So yeah, I finished the wave review on Star-Lord coming up next. And Valkyrie. And then uh, Thor. Fully armoured Thor and then Korg at the end just to finish up the wave. So yeah, really nice looking figure. Nice short review for you guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, yes, yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks for hanging out. See you on the next one.